Hello and welcome back. As you can tell, I have a very, very special figure here with us today. We are going to be looking at the Power Town Wrestling, Carrie Von Eric. Now, obviously, this is the final figure in the set of the Power Town uh, Ultras Series 1 that we've been waiting for for quite a few weeks now. Realistically, we've waited for the line for a very, very long time. But this is the one figure that got, I guess, delayed, so now we finally have it, and I'm hoping I can show this all to you today, and pretty early compared to maybe uh, other reviewers who might be getting this soon. Uh, so very, very cool. We'll start off, of course, with the packaging itself, like we always do. We have Carrie Von Eric written right here, as well as a, po a portrait or render of the figure. Power Town, where wrestling lives on. Adult collectible, ages 18 and up. World Class Wrestling Association. World Heavyweight Championship belt included. Obviously, an amazing accessory that we're getting. These different championship belts. Uh, Ultras Premium Collectible on the top. It just says Kerry Von Erich. Uh, we'll move it to the side. I see Kerry Von Erich there. Premium Collectible. On the back, you can see all the different figures that come in series one and of course uh, as you can imagine um, I don't believe you can get these guys anymore uh, outside of the pre-order that they had going on so very very cool packaging as always we'll open up the flap to read the little description here let's just get it to focus and then as one of the most electric wrestlers of the late 70s, 80s, and early 90s, Kerry Von Erich is best known for his time in the NWA uh, Big Time in NWA Big Time Wrestling, World Class Championship Wrestling, and the World World Wrestling Federation. Uh, a second generation member of the Von Erich family, Kerry was the fourth son of Fritz Von Erich, a wrestler, promoter, and territory owner. Standing six foot three, two hundred and sixty pounds, Kerry had a powerful, agile presence that was best seen while delivering strong punches to his opponents, or felt when locking them into the Iron Claw. Of course, the iconic Iron Claw is the pose going on there. Kerry may be best remembered for his work with the Von Erich family during their historic feud against the fabulous Freebirds. Kerry also had a long-standing rivalry with Ric Flair, which weaved its way through multiple territories, including a historic match on May 6, 1984, when Kerry defeated Flair for the NWA heavyweight title at the David Von Erich Memorial Parade of Champions. Kerry Von Erich wrestled with tragedy outside the ring, although the wrestling world felt his loss too soon. The lasting impact on of Kerry Von Erich lives on forever in professional wrestling. Again, another amazing write-up, and if you are a hardcore wrestling fan, you very much know about the Von Eriks and their family and what they've been through, uh, all the tragedies that occurred. So, of course, may Carrie Von Erich and the rest of the Von Eriks rest in peace, and of course we're going to open up this figure. Out. We're going to leave the box down there. You may have noticed the change up in scenery. If you did not know, I'm kind of between houses at the moment, uh, so you might end up seeing different places occasionally. But here he is in the tray. Very beautiful. Again, I love these trays because you can pop off the top tray, which I don't believe Mattel's going to have. There's probably some tape holding it down. All right, so here's Kerry Von Erich out of the packaging again, much like the other figures in this series. He looks really awesome, really well detailed, and most of all, very, very accurate. Now, uh, again, first impressions, looks awesome. I love the colors on him. I love the blue, or it's kind of like a purple or blue. I can't really tell what color it's supposed to be. It looks more blue on camera, but in uh, IRL, it's a little more purple, which is nice. Um, the color definitely separates him apart from the other figures in the series, so he looks really, really awesome. We're going to take this jacket off uh, in just a moment. 
So here is Mr. Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado himself, outside of a jacket. And uh, again, detail is just incredible. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to look at, uh, we'll start with articulation, then we'll get to detail. I think that's what I did for the prior figures, right? So to start, he has that amazing articulation in his head. You can see that he can look down very, very far. Um, it's like two different joints, one in the neck and then like a bulb joint at the end of the peg, right? So there's kind of like a hinge here, which allows him to look very far down and very far up, while also being able to get the full, mostly full range of looking in different directions with the ball joint. Um, you'll notice his hair, which I had a problem with Bruiser Brody and a few other figures in the wave, um, kind of restricts the articulation a little bit, but you can see that he gets quite a bit of range out of his head, which is good. Um, you can even, like, if there's an opponent at his feet, you can make him look super far down. Looks a little a bit unnatural, but you can definitely get him into some crazy, unique poses, which is what we want out of the articulation, right? So coming down to the shoulders, just like an Elite, he kind of has this, like, pin socket joint. Not sure what you would actually call it. Uh, he has a swivel in the bicep, and then a pinned hinge joint at the elbow. Very standard. And then you have the articulation in the wrist, which I really, really like. It's kind of like on a hinge, but then the hand itself can swivel left and right, um, so you can get a wide variety of range out of those wrists. Then he has uh, articulation right in his torso. You can see he can bend back very, very far. Again, almost looks a little unnatural, but that's all right. You want to be able to get them into super dynamic poses. Uh, he can't look very far forward down with this articulation, but you can see he has a decent range, all things considered. Uh, same, can, not the same can be said about his waist. Uh, again, the same kind of joint. It's kind of like a ball joint, but he gets minimal movement out of it which is all right in the long run. If you force it, you can really get it to uh, do what you need it to, but I wouldn't recommend that, of course. And of course we have legs. You can get him to articulate very well. I can do the splits not so far back, but pretty far forward. Uh, just like the elbows, he has a hinge in the knee. Um, and obviously, if you couldn't tell, there's a swivel here in the boots, right where the boot meets his shin, and then just like uh, just like an Ultimate Edition figure from Mattel, we have um, kind of like a hinge in the foot that's also attached to some type of ball joint that allows uh, his ankles to get into unique poses. All right, so getting into the detail again, likeness is very very good in my opinion. Um, the skin and the the paint, everything looks very more more so natural than uh, an elite. Um, I'm not sure if they use like a scanning process like uh, Mattel does, however the face does look really really good. Since we're starting up here on the head, let's note the hair, very well painted, um, just like the other ones before. It's very um, like multi-layered, there's a lot of, I guess, like dry brushing going on. Some type of uh, detail is going on here that you wouldn't find in Elites um, or Mattel figures. The hair is uh, not just one flat color, it's very well detailed. Um, which I think looks very, very awesome, very, very natural. Uh, just like all the other figures in this series, the musculature is done uh, very, very well. You can even see some veins popping in and out. Um, some issues I have with my figure is, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there were a few scuffs, maybe not anymore. Maybe it wasn't like a scuff, maybe it was just part of the uh, paint or whatever coming off of the jacket, but there were a couple like scuffs that I think I was able to remove just by rubbing them down. So honestly, uh, not many imperfections on this guy, which is great. Um, again, you can look at the sculpt work. Very, very nice. Um, again, the trunks, which again might be reused. I'd have to take a closer look with him and the other figures, but the trunks are not just a solid blue. There is some type of brushwork going on in there, uh, giving it a more detailed look. And again, the sculpting is great on it. Um, same can be said about the lower half of his body. Great musculature, of course. And then the details on the boots are very, very good. You can see he has this kind of like lightning bolt effect going on. Very, very cool. And now jumping down to the accessories, we have his jacket here, which honestly looks incredible. Again, I'm never a big fan of these solid rubber. It's not solid, but these 
uh, rubber pieces we get with wrestling figures, especially from the Power Town figures, just because they, they're not really great for posability. But aside from that, they are great little pieces for sure. Um, the detail on them is incredible. Uh, again, much like the hair we'd mentioned before, this isn't just like a straight purple or blue color. There's actual detail put into it, which looks great, um, especially around like the, um, I don't know, ter uh, clothes terminology, right? Clothing terminology, but right around like the collar and right around the wrist area, you can see that there is a lot of detail put in from the sculpt and the paint to make this look really, really nice. Um, the white lines are very solid and not messy at all. Looks very good. And then you can see Von Eric uh, country right there with uh, Texas and the rose, little rosebud. Super, super cool, super awesome. Um, again, I'm probably not gonna display him in this just because I'd rather get him into more uh, unique poses. And of course he comes with one fisted hand. Of course he comes with an alternate hand, that being uh, the claw, which looks awesome. That's probably what I'm going to have him posing with. So we're going to take a look at how he looks with that. All right, now here's Carrie Von Eric with the claw hand attached. Now I got to say it looks awesome on its own, of course, but the articulation in the upper body, specifically the shoulders and in the arms are so limited that he can't hold his other arm with this hand, but um, it's okay. Or he can't hold this arm with his uh, opposite hand, right? Um, again, it's it's not the biggest deal, but I kind of wish he was able to, uh, if you want to make it look like he's attacking another opponent, you can still make him do that, of course. But uh, obviously the hand itself is a great accessory. I'm glad they included it. Then of course he came with these uh, optional knee pads. Now there was an L and R in the packaging for these guys, but I did not pay attention to which side was which. I think there's an R and an L inside there, so uh, the, this is the left one, this is the right one. So thankfully I was able to figure it out. No. So let's see what he looks like with these on. To put them on, all you're gonna do is remove the boot, then you can take one of the knee pads, maybe it goes, yeah, this way it on like this and take his boot place it back on just like that so this is how he looks with them on I'm obviously gonna keep them on I think that looks really really nice it also kind of covers up the articulation quite a bit so definitely enjoy that a lot now of course it is time for the standout uh, accessory that being the championship belt this might be my favorite belt so far you can see world wrestling champion written right there super well done i love the reflective plates i love the how they're gold i love how again how thin these belts are super 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 cool so now let's put this on carrie so here's carrie von eric with the championship belt and i gotta say looks super super awesome carrie von eric is a great wrestling personality uh again taken from us way too early just like a lot of the von erics unfortunately uh but this is a very awesome figure it's nice to see him immortalized in figure form especially done with so much care and uh i obviously would highly recommend him um, again, giving a rating on him, uh, I gotta say, he doesn't come with a lot of stuff compared to, or, you know, not the most interesting of accessories compared to, like, Bruiser Brody, but he's definitely a must-have. He's Carrie Von Eric. I mean, uh, obviously, a uh, great, or famous wrestling family, uh, the Von Erichs, so it's just amazing to have him. So, highly recommend, uh, if I were to give him a little rating, definitely 8 out of 10. Uh, at the very least, of course, these figures are fantastic. Uh, now that I finally got all of them in hand for Series 1, we are eventually going to be taking a look at them all and just talking about the series in general and maybe some hopes for the future. Uh, I unfortunately don't have any size comparisons today. As I said in the beginning of this video, I'm kind of in between houses. So we're going to kind of skip that portion and save it for when we take a look at all of the figures together. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you subscribe and follow uh, to see what comes next, as I will be taking a look at all these together. Uh, so again, very fantastic figure, so happy to have them in the collection, and I can't wait to share more figures with you in the future. Thanks for watching.